Hello everyone, in this lecture we are going to learn about, how to add, platforms, packing and trays to pressure vessel, in PV Elite software. Our flagship courses are, Master Static Equipment Design, and PVE Lite, ASME Section 8 Division 2, and Master Welded Storage Tank, as per API 650. We have curated courses to suit your learning needs, so do visit our learning platform for more details, on scutoid.thinkific.com. So platform creation is uh, pretty simple. Okay. We have selected shell one. Okay. So if there is any platform on the shell one, this one. Okay. So we are trying to create that. Definitely it will be circular in nature. If you, if you are having a platform, then uh, the distance will be required. So distance we can keep 1000 at the center. Start will be zero and end let us consider as 180 degree. Okay, platform railing weight, railing weight of the platform, typically you can consider as 10 or 15 kg per meter. Okay, so 15 kg means it will be 150 Newton divided by 1000. Okay, so this is the standard platform railing weight. Platform grating weight, we consider 160 kg per mm square or 170 not mm, kg per meter square. Okay. So if we take 170 kg per mm, so kg per meter square, so kg 170 into 10,000 is what we'll divide. So that is your platform grating weight. Platform width, normally it is 1,500. Height, 1 meter. Clearance from the vessel od you can see here so one inch two inch clearance we keep so consider 50 mm okay force coefficient if you don't want to if you want to exact area to be considered then force coefficient will be only one you don't have to change it so i created the platform but now i need ladder also okay to go to that so ladder angle i'll keep zero elevation will be starting from zero and will be going to the 2000 let me see from where uh, no, it is taking the elevation so it might be i think 4000 is what we have to take ladder unit weight is roughly 40 kg per meter so 40 kg if i am taking then newton will be 400 divided by 1000 it's not calculating so i'll have to take uh 0. 4. Okay. I can change it to caged ladder okay, because mostly you'll be having caged ladder. So now I've provided all the data. I'll say okay. okay. You can see now okay. this is how your platform will look like. The platform looks much bigger because your you know, equipment is small. I'll change the ladder. Ladder is becoming too much height so we'll change it to uh, 2000 okay so now you can see this is how you create the platform okay next option is packing so packing is also pretty simple it depends which kind of packing you are having okay uh, so sometimes even inert balls are there which are very much high density and uh, sometimes you may be having normal molecular sieves kind of thing okay uh, so first you have to identify from where that is starting so let us say it's starting from 200 okay and height of packing is 500 density you can select let me tell you what density will be there for different types okay so for inert balls we take uh, in kg centimeter cube we take 0 0.002 okay we have standard packing you know uh, densities that also you should get confirmed from the vendor who is supplying that packing okay but in the start that is not available so you can 
you have to have a standard value for different types. So we can consider 0 0.00248. So that is the density in kg per centimeter cube. Okay. If your packing is holding some of the volume of liquid, then you can say the percentage hold up like 40% of the liquid. What is the specific gravity of the liquid which you are holding? So in our case, the liquid is of 5.5 density. So we'll take that. I'll say, okay. So now you have packing. Okay, which you can see from this color, this is the packing which is added. Okay. So we have packing added. Now, see how we add the tray. So tray will be always in multiples. Okay. So again, uh, let us add the tray in the top one, in this one. Okay, Otherwise, it won't be visible. So add the tray in here. Distance will be, you can start from maybe 50. Number of trays, three. Tray spacing, consider 400. Tray weight per unit area. That depends upon what is the thickness of the tray. Thickness of the tray may vary from 6 mm, 10 mm. So consider 10 mm. Multiply thickness with the density, you'll be able to get the tray weight per unit area, right? So 81 is what we are getting in kg per centimeter square. So sub if there are support rings also, then you may have to you know, calculate that support ring. Okay, because tray may also have a support rings. Okay. Support ring and what... Uh, bolting bar weight height of the liquid generally 50 mm will be the height of the liquid in the tray and density consider as 0.5 okay so this is the tray okay. now i will just say okay it will be 0.8 basically 0.81 yes we have multiplied that has to be divided okay so 0.81 kg per centimeter square so now I say, okay, okay. Now you can see the trays, which is, which are getting added. See the trays. Okay. There's a hold up volume also. So trays are added now. So we have added platform. We have added packing trays. For in-depth training and to learn more about these courses, register with the link in the description.